Welcome to Bag Chat. I'm your host, Tema Madima. Uh, interesting evening of chatting tonight. I hope you guys are ready and excited. Uh, today's one is uh, powered by SCF Nutrition. So yeah, we're going to have a good one. We've got uh, Jenna Lofstrand joining us this evening. So we're going to have a nice chat with Jenna. Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting one. So make sure if you have any questions, send through your questions. If you have anything that you want to ask tonight, you know, be free. It's not only me chatting to Jenna, but it's you chatting to her as well. So it's open for all of us. And I hope you guys are excited. It's going to be an awesome evening of chatting. Welcome to Bag Chat. Proudly hosted by Backtrack. Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. As everybody is uh, hopping on. So obviously back chat is all about getting the conversations going with the athletes it's all about informing um those who watch you know those who support and even fellow athletes it's good to have these positive conversations going about track and field athletics emil peterson i see you zagiti nene i see you kaylee larue uh, luan munich welcome guys peter kukamur Welcome and thanks for joining. This evening we're chatting to Jenna Lovestrand. And she's going to be jumping on any moment. And then we're going to get chatting with her. A very good evening to all in South Africa. Yeah, this is back chat. I hope everybody is staying safe, keeping warm. Just a moment and then uh, I'm gonna go live with Jenna. So just uh, give her a moment to log on. I see she's on. There is Jenna. Okay, I'm gonna send her an invite quickly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, good evening. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to Back Chat. I'll be going live in a short moment. So make sure if you have any questions, send your questions through. And we're going to get the conversation going. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. Jenna. <laughs> How are you? I'm well and you. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good, good, good. I thought you were going to have some... Uh, challenges with your connection but i see we, we're okay yeah it's okay i sent i was trying to figure out how to do it i sent you a request i was just waiting for you to accept it <laughs> yeah. all right awesome i think um it worked out well and all is good how have you been i've been good um not doing much besides training <laughs> obviously yeah. with everything that's been going on it's just been training and eating and sleeping and that's it we don't go many places we just go to the malls buy food and yeah that's about it <laughs> back in the cocoon and then you rest <laughs> exactly mm -hmm. you know like um when the season was on i mean we were seeing you like almost every week with the puma events you know because we were also mm -hmm. filming and covering those events so yeah it's been a while <laughs> yes it's been a while it's nice to see you again <laughs> Awesome, awesome. All right, so we're going to do what we always do. So we're going to start with an introduction. Um, okay. So we're going to introduce you to the people so they can know exactly who we're dealing with. <laughs> so um, <laughs> listen up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this evening we're chatting to Jenna Lofstrand. She's the World Championships 800 meter <laughs> semi-finalist, World Under 18 Championships 800 meter semi-finalist, She's the Athletics World Cup 800 meter finalist, SA champion, and I'm going to add another one, three times classic shootout 600 meter champion. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jenna Lovestrand. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor and it's a pleasure to have you here. I know there's a lot of people that are interested to hear uh, what we're going to be chatting about. But yeah, it's all about just taking out some positive energy you know it's um it's it's been some crazy times but mm -hmm. there are still beautiful stories to share about south african athletics so let's do that 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Um, next thing we do, we play a game. It's called um, "What's in the Bag." Thirty seconds. All right. Um, so you've got uh, thirty seconds to name as much things as possible that you have inside of your competition bag. Thirty seconds to name as much things as possible in your competition bag. Coming to you in three, two, okay. <laughs> one. Let's go. Um, spikes. Hopefully, uh, sunscreen. Uh. Money, um, makeup. <laughs> I always take makeup with me. <laughs> um, what else? Probably something warm. Hopefully, um, whatever number I have to find in. Um, food, pre-workout. I have to have that. <laughs> what else? I don't know. I safety pins, but I never have safety pins. But I should. <laughs> and time. Um, All right. Time. 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 <laughs> How many? Right, nine, nine isn't bad. Nine is okay. okay. <laughs> uh, it's the first time you're the first person to mention money, so I was quite surprised about that one. But I also, you know, always money. carry money as well, just yeah, in case. Well, a wallet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a wallet, a oh, purse. Snacks. Yeah. I forgot about that food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, welcome, Jenna. So obviously, we're gonna get the conversation going. Um, <laughs> so if uh, people are also going to ask questions as they please and so on. So we're just going to try and cover as much as we can in uh, okay. 33 minutes. All right. Okay. So we've got 33 minutes to cover as much as we can. So, okay. yeah, let's get started. So, Jenna Lofstra, mm -hmm. tell us, <laughs> what made you choose the 800 meter of all events on the track? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I can't exactly say that I chose it. I think um, I just started doing the best at 800. So I've tried 1500. Um, yeah. I actually used to do cross country. That's how I started was just cross country. Um, yeah. But then I slowly moved over to track. And yeah, I think that of all the races, it just came most naturally to me. So that's why I'm doing it. And um, yeah. That's basically the only reason. I think if I could be a sprinter, I definitely would be. <laughs> I, if I was quick enough to run 100 or 200, I for sure would not be doing 800. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd take a sprint any day as well. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, no, I feel like of all the races I have done, 800 is the toughest, in, in my opinion. And yeah. even though I train for it, and I've done it so many times, it is a rough race. <laughs> You know, what I like watching, like, you know, obviously when I watch your races and the races that we filmed as Backtrack and so on, it's always like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I know when you're in good shape because you, you're like a bully, you know, you want to go out hard and fast. <laughs> Whether you were still a youngster coming through, running against Casta Semenya or whatever, you, you just wanted to, <laughs> to lead and, you know, um, power your way through the race. That's always interesting uh, to watch. I like that, you know. <laughs> oh, thank you. I think it's just how I was always taught to run. So um, we had certain splits that we had to get to when yeah. it comes to like 100, 200, 400 to 600, basically, like come hell or high water, you have to get to the 600 at a certain time. So yeah, yeah. I think that that's, <laughs> that's the reason. So no matter what anyone else is doing in the race, you have to get to the 600 at your time to run a PB, hopefully by the 800. So like, obviously, your your personal base, I didn't mention that, that's a, you, you've got a 201. I mean, that's... That's that's quality, you know, and obviously um, uh, the 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 dream or the goal is to eventually go um, sub two minutes. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of challenges, uh, injuries, and so on. So this brings me to this next question: um, mm -hmm. how, how how have you dealt personally with setbacks? Uh, I remember you had the hashtag "Come Back Stronger." Oh, mm -hmm. OB King Sprints. Um, <laughs> Hashtag um, come back stronger. What 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 um what do you use and what do you do to make sure that you know you stay positive and come out of uh, difficult um, situations? Okay, well I think I have had a few over my athletics career. I've been injured yeah. so many times. I I think actually I've only had one season where I really felt like I almost reached my potential. Um, but I think it's not always easy to stay positive and I don't think I always have honestly um I think it's normal to feel 
down and a little bit hopeless when you get injured but yeah i always just it sounds cliche but i always just hold on to hope that things will get better you know um the tough times always do pass so yeah. and with all of the bad experiences that i have had i know that now that no matter no matter how bad you're feeling in that moment it will pass and things will get better so you just kind of have to take it day by day and just keep going until things do get better absolutely like uh, i like what you say taking taking it day by day mm-hmm. and yeah it does it does uh, pass over and you know one day you look back and you in a better place Mm-hmm. you actually mentally stronger you become a better person you know if you come, when you come out the other side um i see uh, ob king sprints is uh, on here watching thanks for supporting our oh, <laughs> renard fan rensburg oh that one is a tree. he's always causing trouble renard is around sinesipo dambile the sister <laughs> kayla cavana uh, pumi pumi kumalo i know that's your friend yes uh, <laughs> Dev Zalimao there's a lot of people that are joining in thanks guys Pacer training welcome guys um amazing i'm going to take questions as well uh, i've got so many questions that i want to uh, go to uh, but i'm going to take some questions as well we've got one here by Dr Magwaza he says mm-hmm. great athlete ask her about how was racing against youngster prudence <laughs> ah it you was guys had a crazy race last year and tough. yeah <laughs> we raced to the line No it was really fun. Um and I can't wait to do it again. It was a tough race. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to win it but I did my best and she came out on top so well done to her. You know you know what's beautiful about I mean if we think about last year's final you know it it was like one of those you know i think if people thought the 800 was not exciting i think last year <laughs> if you if you look at the men's race as well as the women's race it was like yeah. you never knew who was going to win it until like the line you know Last 800 is almost back <laughs> yeah no i think yeah things are looking up for 800 we'll see next year <laughs> no definitely i see renard says uh, someone has to make back chat interesting uh that's the the, the problem child uh, renard van rensburg is always causing uh, <laughs> uh challenges for us <laughs> but yeah it's good all right next question um role models who was your role model um coming through I mean obviously as a youngster you went to mm-hmm. the under 18 right under 18 world champs Uh yes I went to world junior champs in World junior Yeah in 20 uh 14 or the 2014 I think Yeah yeah yes, yeah yes. So obviously coming through that time and you know mm-hmm. who was your your role model um I mean coming into the 800 at that time Um I think I had so many it's hard to choose one um obviously everyone looks up to Usain Bolt <laughs> I've always looked up to Caster also um since I started running and yeah. I think yeah I remember when I first started track running also just the girls that I used to race with there was Monique Stand at the time Oh yeah 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 I really looked up to her she was so good and I always just wanted to run as fast as she did so Yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah I think she was quick She was very good yeah I think she got 2 or 2 as a youth athlete um, Yeah So yeah I, I mean honestly she was one of the people that I always used to look up to Um but oh. yeah I think there's so many honestly I look up to so many athletes that I've watched over the years it's it's really hard to choose one No oh, that's cool Wow I mean shout out to Monique Stander Yeah um, <laughs> yeah I mean she was a phenomenal talent she she's got the SA mm-hmm. other youth or junior record I left to check but yeah crazy times Yeah yeah I think she ran 2 or 2 as a youth if I remember correctly a youth athlete All right. And then uh, OB King Sprints um he says do 800 meter runners think it's easier to step down to the 200 meter or oh, to step up to the 1500? Was your mom oh Miss Lost Friend 2014. <laughs> yeah, she's picked us up a few times at the airport so hey mom. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so personally um I would prefer to step down to 200 but i think i think i would do better stepping up to 1500 yeah, yeah i would yeah. 
I don't think I would enjoy the fifteen hundred training so much, <laughs> but I think I would have a better chance at fifteen hundred than two hundred. Yeah, good, good, good answer. <laughs> being a sprinter, is, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind being fast as well. You know, I wish I was faster. You know, um, you know, people they wish they were taller, or they wish they were whatever. I just wish I was wish faster. You were faster. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, around 100 and 200. That's it. Um, I know. Sorry? No, I said I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm the same. Um, you can definitely. I mean, over the years, I've gotten a lot faster. So it is possible to get faster, but I, I don't know if this is true or not. Maybe someone could tell me. I feel like if you're not born with that sprinter speed, I don't know that you can ever i don't know maybe you yeah. can i think it's really difficult to no absolutely <laughs> i mean it's we give that's why we, we've got uh middle distance runners and sprinters we all have different gifts all right another question and then i'm gonna move um i'm gonna move back uh, uh to 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 my question i see ob says it's all about the shapes that's the sprinters um peter kukamur is asking a big question <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's asking, can, can we expect that sub two from you mentally and physically? How is the preparation going? I am not going to stop racing 800 till I get a sub two. I can tell you oh. that. So I don't know when it will be, but um, with everything that's gone on this year, it'll probably only be next year. Well, I think definitely only be next year. Yes. I'm feeling oh. positive. I know that I can do it. It's just a matter of time and yeah good luck <laughs> absolutely i mean um it brings me to obviously if i look at most of your performances not most you know like a lot of your performances and you know i always try to encourage this one because it's so important as well because you know in south africa most of our races are inland you know you're eight hundred minute runner running in yeah. victoria <laughs> porch germiston mm -hmm. you know um, so huh. what role did like Europe, uh, going to Europe and competing in Europe, like play in your uh, career? Oh, it was the best thing. So, um, I always go back to 2017 cause that's when I ran my PB. Um, yeah. and I was racing, I think almost every single week, sometimes every five days, if I remember correctly, and you would just get faster and faster every race. And obviously then all the races are at sea level. So it's, a lot easier and then yeah. you have a good competition as well so um that makes it easier as well so i think it's very important to go and do a, a european circuit if you want to run a pb so tell us about the environment I don't, sorry I don't think, um, I said, tell us about the environment i don't think everybody mm -hmm. like always gets to you know you hear about it and you don't always like have a uh, an, an idea of, or actually an understanding of what they mean when they say uh, competitions are a bit better. What, 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 what type of um, environment is it that you feel like you benefit from? Um, well, when I, in 2017, I got to race a lot of women that I had been watching on TV for years. So first of all, that was so exciting because um, yeah. like my role models, obviously I was getting to, stand next to them and run with them and I know I knew that if I could just like hold on to them I would run yeah. really high. Um, yeah. but also the races are just all very exciting and well set up and yeah it's just it's just really good competition and it, it's really fun <laughs> yeah absolutely um I think it, it's yeah it's just the, the, the environment is just I think there's there's also such a there's a much higher expectation as well, you know, and I, and I believe um, that's what we need to do in South Africa, uh, mm -hmm. introducing pace setters, introducing like big races and whatever, you know. Yeah. Uh, you you've obviously ran at um, classic shootouts, and for a while it became like uh, your thing, you know. I love I think, it. <laughs> I think last year was like the the best year we had. You on two titles. Wenda won two titles. It was the the battle of the battle of the, <laughs> the kings, the queens. <laughs> it was so and fun. That mm -hmm. was like amazing. T tell us about uh, the classic shootouts and like why you find them so special. And obviously, you you always every time we like Jenna, you like I'm there, you know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, 
first of all, I love that it's a 600. I love racing a 600. It's really a fun distance to run. And then also just because it's like first race of the season, it's really exciting to see what kind of shape you're in. And then when you yeah. get all the supporters and the schools that are there, that's, I think, the best part of it. And seeing all of you guys and um, it's just... It's, I love it. It's my favorite, one of my favorite things. <laughs> I think it always will be. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Absolutely. I think, um, yeah, it, it was, it was, it's, it's always, I mean, this year was even, I mean, when I think of all the athletes that showed up this year, it was just like, mm -hmm. it was such a good display of local South African athletics. Yeah. And exactly. I mean, athletics is such a fun sport, you know, I mean, it's a tough sport. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. 80%, 90% of your athletics career is spent in lactic, pain, traveling, mm -hmm. missing home, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> Injuries. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's, it's that racing is the, is the only time where you get to actually enjoy, you know. So that, that's what mm -hmm. is, is important. We try to make uh, the competitions and racing as enjoyable as possible, you know. Yeah. And you guys do a really good job at it with that event, for sure. Without the athletes, I mean, it's the big names that come out, that it's you guys coming out that make it um, special. Otherwise, we would have these uh, nice events. But, I mean, performance at the end of the day is what makes the meeting, you know? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I think that we as athletes also don't realize how many supporters we have until we go to events like that, which is... It's really exciting and motivating. I always leave it, that event feeling inspired and ready to fight for more, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to take another question uh, from Is That Seho? He says, when did you start running athletics? Um, okay, so I started, I think I told you, with cross country, and that was in primary school. I started in grade four and in grade okay. five. <laughs> So great in grade five is when I told my mom that I wanted to start training. So I just used to race and I never used to train. Um, and okay. then I started on the track, I think, only in high school. So I, haven't, I didn't start super young. I only, actually, I only started very intense track training, I think, when I was in grade 11. Um, wow. That's when I was very intensely. So... Yeah. So it's actually it's actually a good year to start, a good age to actually start focusing because that's when you're gonna be start moving to university and so on. So yeah, that's cool. And then um, obviously, like this is probably one of my, the the most important question I always ask on the chats. Like, what mm -hmm. is your motivation? I think that that's that gets that gets us down to like really understanding. You know, obviously. People won't always uh, understand Jenna, or they won't understand a lot of the top athletes. What is that? What is your motivation? What makes you, um, you know, fire on on all cylinders? What makes you wake up in the morning and train and want to come over and overcome all these uh, difficult situations? What is your motivation? What is my motivation? Well, honestly, I think. Sometimes it's difficult to find it, but I always try to remind myself that I still, I don't think I've reached my full potential yet. And that's something that motivates me. I want yeah. to work really hard to see what I act, what I can actually do. Um, yeah. So just being able to run under two minutes for an 800, for me, that would be amazing. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Run under two minutes and, I mean, go to... And Olympics and you know things like that um that motivates me up just knowing that I haven't done all I can do yeah absolutely <laughs> I mean like you know obviously uh there's a lot of athletics that people don't know like there's the nutrition side of things there's the mm -hmm. motive uh, there's the motivation there's the the mental side of things as well um can you just give us like a short breakdown of like the type of team you work with obviously there's strength and conditioning uh there's you know who do you work with to make sure that everything leads you towards uh this olympic goal or eventually breaking that uh, two minutes okay well obviously 
the coach is very important. <laughs> um, yeah. And then um, my boyfriend at the moment is, well, he was helping me with like a conditioning program. And I don't, I think I've announced this officially, but I actually have a new coach. Um, I think I may have told you at one of the events. Um, so he is actually Swiss. Um, so at the moment we are corresponding like okay. with email and um yeah, so I'm doing kind of an online coaching thing for the time being. Okay. But um my program is all controlled my program is controlled by my coach and that obviously so the coach is very important. And then what else did you say? Nutrition? Nutrition, um, what, what do you do to make sure? Obviously, like recovery mm -hmm. is one of those things that are yeah. very important. Um, yes. um, I don't really work with a dietitian or anything like that. I have in the past to help me get on the right track. Um, but I, I eat really well. I eat basically whatever I want to eat. I don't try and control that too much because I think sometimes that could be a bad thing. Um, I just make sure that I'm eating things that are nutritious and good for me, you know. Um, and then, obviously, supplements. I usually take some kind of whey protein. I love pre-workout <laughs> um, before tough sessions. Um, but I keep it simple. I think I try to get most of my nutrients from my food. And then mm -hmm. if I'm training really hard and I feel like I need extra, I'll add whey protein. All right, super duper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's one of those questions. And mentally, do you have a, is there somebody that you work with on the mental side of things or you got that on lockdown? Oh, not right now. Um, I have in the past just a little. I think it's something that I could do with a little bit more. Though it's, I, I think that that's very important, seeing some kind of maybe like sports psychologist. Um, and I think I will in future. But at the moment, it's just me <laughs> trying to help myself. <laughs> yeah, you should try that option. I think it, it will definitely, you know, like it's, mm -hmm. it's all about just getting that extra 1%. You can get an extra 1% yeah. here and another one here. You know, 2% makes so much difference in your overall performance, recovery, yeah. etc. You know, so yeah, absolutely. Another question here. Uh, the, the, what is it? It's um, Obi's asking, what what's the better environment to train in, Poch or Durban? Um, they're both good in their own way. So obviously there's altitude in Poch, which is um tough. But I'm hoping that if I'm in Poch at the moment, by the way, I'm hoping that training in the altitude is going to make me really strong. Um, because I am feeling it; it's really tough in Durban sea level. So that's the nice part. And then obviously. That's Durban is where I come from. My family is there. My original mm. training group is there. And my original coach. And I miss them very much. So that's also <laughs> a nice part about being in Durban. Um, and I just love the track in Durban. Because I've yeah. kind of grown up there, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love them both. And my boyfriend is here. So that's also a very good thing about <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, you know, D Durban is one of my uh, like favorite tracks as well. I mean... But yo, it can it, it's got its challenges. But overall, I think to if you want to perform like for races, middle distance, mm -hmm. probably one of the best places to run. Um, I see, yes, you know, Steffi on the brink. Yes. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, Survivor. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, so can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yeah, I think something's happening to your connection. <laughs> Am I fine now? Uh oh. Yes, you're fine. <laughs> All right, Hi, sorry Amy. about this. I missed you. <laughs> Amy Nodia, <laughs> another 400 meter sprinter. Thanks for joining, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, mm -hmm. I want to ask this question. Um, obviously, like, you know, I always try, even that's why I always, with, with the introduction, I always try to remind you of what you've achieved and what you've done, you know, because I think sometimes uh, it's so easy to forget it and you get so caught up in um, 
the current or the now situation you know mm-hmm. um what has been like one of your your most um memorable or uh most cherished moments in your athletics uh, career um i think so 2013 which is the first uh well, south african title that i won south african senior title the south african champs um that race for me was a special one just because i was so scared and <laughs> <laughs> I, i did my absolute best and it worked out really well for me and that race alone gave me many opportunities and yeah so i think 2013 and then probably my first senior world champs in 2017 as well that yeah. was really cool. it was memorable i mean to finish as a semi finalist um that's where you're in the 201 as well yeah in the i did yeah i didn't i, I almost equaled my pb yeah. so i was hoping to run a new pb but i did my best <laughs> hopefully uh, absolutely i mean you 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 did do your best and i mean to be a, a world champ semi finalist is mm-hmm. that's big stuff you know yeah. and obviously um at the moment now with um competition and so on so obviously the preparation as it stands now is towards 2021 um i i assume is that is that how you and your coach are taking it your swiss coach um yes so there are races happening some small races happening now overseas but i don't think i'm going to take part in any of them i'm i'm thinking of next year also because yeah. i just, i'm still kind of i mean I tore my Achilles last year and it's taken me so long to get back to full training and now I am in full training but I still feel like I've kind of got a long way to go yeah. before I'm running how I used to so for me next year definitely would be better. Okay, that's uh yeah, but I think it's yeah with the situation I think that's the best uh, best way to do it um gives yourself time to also train and recover uh, mm-hmm. properly. Yeah. All right. I'm going to ask I'm going to look for one more question. Um there was another question that I wanted to take over here. Uh will I find it? I'm not sure if I'll find it. <laughs> Which one? Yeah, you know, there's so many up there. Okay. I'm I think I'm going to leave it. All right. I want us to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up now. Um in the next uh, few moments I've got two more questions to ask. Two big questions and then we're going to wrap it up. Like if you were to give advice to the up and coming uh, youngsters I know there there's a few that look up to you especially in Durban mm-hmm. but all over the the country as well you know I've seen how people respond and react to you when they see you at uh, the competitions mm-hmm. you know so you are uh, a role model and uh, and somebody that they look up to you know um what advice would you give to like up and coming young athletes um that are finding their feet in this uh track and field world uh, what message would you give them to like you know encourage them to 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 be great um i think the most important thing is just to be relentless like don't give up um, yeah, like that yeah work hard definitely you have to work hard but even with the hard work no matter how hard you work things aren't always going to go your way so the most important part is just do not give up keep going wow i like that <laughs> word be relentless, relentless. you know <laughs> Jeez. You know what I think relentless I think like a pit bull you know what a pit bull it yeah. bites and then it locks its jaw it's like come on you've already bitten me now you're locking your jaw on top yeah. of it it's like that's no, you relentless have to, it has to be like that <laughs> I'm still trying to tell myself that now as well if I still want to achieve more I have to you have to be relentless keep going keep pushing on yeah All right I see a message here from uh, Steffi on the brink She says blessings for the season ahead keep up the good work. Thank you so uh, much. And you. OB <laughs> saying make the Olympic team. <laughs> That's my goal. <laughs> Absolutely. So I feel really sad for the athletes that were ready this year but I was not so for me <laughs> the next year is a, it's such a relief actually. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know everything happens for a reason and I mean there's nothing wrong with you saying that you know because um you know we all in the we all in this together 
and yeah. you know if you get more time to prepare you better prepare better that's it you know exactly one more question a message to south africans um what would you like to see um a uh, backtrack doing more as well so that's like a twofold uh, question what role would you like to see us doing in the future and a message to suit africa a message to... <laughs> um okay so first of all what i want to see you guys doing in the future honestly um probably more of this i think that this is really fun um and you guys are doing so much already i don't even know <laughs> what more you could do i think just carry on uh with what you're doing yeah and message to south africa a message to south africa um well just stay strong <laughs> um i know that the times have been very interesting the past few months but hopefully we've reached the peak and it's coming to an end and yeah i hope everybody is doing well and staying safe and i look forward to seeing everybody at the end of this <laughs> <laughs> absolutely jenna lofstrand thanks so much for joining us this evening thanks for your time um Thank you. i'm going to take that i'm taking a lot of uh, of of like mental notes of what she said you know being relentless you know continue <laughs> being relentless um continue being a role model you know keep working hard you know we 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 hope and you know we'll be trying to support as much as we can for you to reach your dreams and shine all over south africa and the rest of the world as well so thank you for joining us this evening and yeah all the best thank you so much for having me all right <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching uh we're going to wrap it up now uh, we had jenna love friend joining us this evening as well so before i close it uh we've got a competition that i said we're going to be running so i'm going to be doing that right now so what i'm going to do is after this we're going to make a post which also explains how it's going to work so you can win a pair of a6 shoes right so all you have to do i know you with uh, puma jenna but sorry we, we are giving away a6 shoes <laughs> <laughs> um so all you have to do guys make sure that you follow backtrack also make sure that you follow a6 i'll also put this the instructions on the post that to follow and make sure that you tag three friends and from there on end of the month we're going to take all the names we're going to do a lucky shuffle draw thing and then the winner will get a new pair of running shoes this is nice you know what i mean uh, thanks to a6 for coming on um this will help an athlete out there and if you have shoes and so on and you receive this prize give it to somebody who needs it you know uh thanks uh, jenna appreciate it Thank thanks you. everybody for watching uh we'll see you guys tomorrow look out for the post i'm going to put out the post with the instructions for the shoes and we're going to take it from there good night <laughs> and have a good bye blessed one thanks jenna bye bye